So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Her presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice! Let's get this over with. Quick. Three, two, one! That's it, Roach. Reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it, you still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. <sighs> you mean to say, you had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon.
victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her.